Welcome back my Guild Wars 2 aficionados. Have you ever found yourself in a boss fight, happily mashing your buttons, drowning in all these flashy effects, and ever thought to yourself, Golly gee willikers, I sure do wish someone could tell me how many damages I'm doing. Well today, you're in luck. Because today, I'm going to walk you through how to set up Arc DPS so you can bask in the glory of all of these damages that you were doing. Welcome back friends, Guild Wars 2 has an amazing combat system, but it can be really hard to tell if you're actually doing well, especially compared to those around you. This game just doesn't give you the tools to know exactly how well you are doing, but today I come with a solution. Arc DPS. Arc DPS is the damage meter created by Delta Connected and has been used by the Guild Wars 2 endgame community for years. It gives you all kinds of information that you can use to check your performance at the game. You have damage per second, break bar damage, boon uptime, healing, condition cleansers, you name it. In my view, this is the single greatest tool you have at your disposal to improve your gameplay and make all your endgame wishes come true. So first, let me show you how I use Use it. So here on my screen you can see windows for everyone's damage, break bar damage, boon uptime, as well as some smaller windows showing my personal damage and healing, as well as my FPS and ping. Because as someone from Australia, if my ping ever dips below 200 milliseconds, I will know about it. So today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to go from this to this. A quick sidebar before we start. I hear some of you asking, will I be banned if I use Arc DPS? Short answer, no. ArenaNet has allowed the use of Arc DPS for years and has even worked with the creator to ensure that it is compliant with their own terms of service. ArenaNet do not officially support Arc DPS, however, so they will not be able to help you if you run into any issues with Arc DPS. So don't waste your time contacting support. And just don't use your newfound power and knowledge to bully other players. Your friends and family will disown you, and picking on other players can get you banned. Now, let's walk through the installation. All links will be in the description so do not worry about it. Visit deltaconnected.com, head straight to the bottom of the page, click download, and download the latest D3 D11.dll file. You will then drag this file into the Guild Wars 2 directory in your program files. This is right next to the Guild Wars 2 launcher if you want to check. So for now, you're done. Launch Guild Wars 2 and once you're in the game, press Alt, Shift and T to bring up the Arc DPS options. Here you can click the checkboxes to enable different windows. The ones I prefer to use for PvE are Area Stats, which will default to showing your group's DPS. We can also customize it to show you other things like break bar damage which we will touch on in a bit. You can bring up the area buffs table to show your group's buff up time. We will be customizing this further in a little bit so don't worry for now. Metrics is a personal preference but I personally really like to see my FPS and ping at all times. You can easily skip this one if required though. Last up we have self stats which can be really useful seeing your own DPS and healing at a glance separate to your group. You can click and drag any of these windows to whatever position you prefer so mess around see what works for you now right now we have one area stats window which defaults to the dps meter we all know and love however we can do more in pve in particular it's really nice to see how much break bar damage people are doing this way you can see just how much you're carrying the break bars atop your broad muscular shoulders to add this window bring up the arc dps options and add another area stats window right click on the header of this new window and click advanced stats then click on the break bar checkbox in the squad section and that's it as well as a dps meter you now have a break bar damage meter as well now this is a personal preference but i am not a huge fan of the arc dps buffs meter i've never found this one particularly easy to read but however we can improve it next up we'll exit out of guild wars 2 head over to the github page for the arc dps boon table by nox fighter linked in the description below and we can find a much more customizable boon table click over to the latest release download the d3 d9 arc dps table dll and place it in the same folder as your original arc dps dll file 
relaunched the game, and now we have access to a much nicer boon table. Press Alt Shift T to bring up the Arc DPS options and make sure you have the boon table checked. And press Alt Shift B to bring up the boon table if it's still missing. If you right click on the boon table, you'll have a whole host of customization options. The first one I recommend is going to the display menu and setting the max number of displayed rows to 10. If you don't do this and wander into a meta event with 50 players, you'll end up with this monstrosity. So when we limit it to 10 players, it still gives us everything we need when it comes to instance content without this clown fiesta happening in open world. We can also customize our columns to only show the boons we prefer. My personal preference is might, swiftness, protection, regeneration, quickness, and alacrity. You can have as many or as few of these as you like, but I find that if you have these boons covered, you're going to blast through anything in your path. As a last little touch, you can click and drag any of the columns to rearrange them however you want. Now we're basically done, but the default font in Arc DPS leaves something to be desired. But with the magic of custom fonts, we can fix this. You can change the font of Arc DPS to whatever you like as long as it's a true type font. A very good place to find these custom fonts is on Google Fonts. They will also be in the correct format. My personal preference is Archivo Black. So let's download and extract the font. We then need to rename it to Arc DPS underscore font. From here, we'll just paste it into the add-ons Arc DPS folder in our main Guild Wars 2 folder. And when you relaunch the game, you will see your stunning new font in action. And that, my friends, is everything you need to know about how to set up Arc DPS and transcend all areas of Guild Wars 2's endgame content. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And if you want another way to optimize your Guild Wars 2 experience, check out our latest video where we talk about everything you need to know about gearing and Guild Wars 2. But with that, I'll I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.